Pasadena and the majestic Rose Bowl, one of the unique settings in all of sport. This year's Rose Bowl presented by Prudential is a crucial part of the college football playoff. It's time now for the quarterfinals for the top four seeds, a time to begin their quest toward the national championship. But they run into a battle-tested team already coming off one playoff victory, trying to shock the world here today and make the semifinals. As we'll see the number eight seed in this playoff, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Marshall Thundering Herd. 3 a Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. take the return and try to get some better field position. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. They're just able to stop him, but that is a great return there. He's a dangerous guy with the football. And it's a great spot to start this drive. So Marshall's offense has the football first here today. And this quarterback, of course, Kirk, he's the guy that stirs the drink for this team. You talk about the total package. He runs it, produces it. Through. Look at this. Taking a shot on the very first play. He tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Chris, I love this call here by the offensive coordinator. Big playoff game. You take a shot downfield. Now, they didn't hit it, but I love the aggressive approach here early by this OC. Scanning the field. It's Smith. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete, just out of reach. A little too much on that throw. So two incompletions brings up a third and ten on the opening drive here. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. It's a huge game. He's got it inside the 30. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. It's a first and ten play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Making people miss. Brought down a broken tackle. Produce a solid gain there. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that one. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Caught near the goal line. Stopped short of the touchdown, but the offense is set up now first and goal. Well, that's another completion by this quarterback. Another great gain in a first down and already over 30 yards through the air. This quarterback is in a zone here to start this game. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Marshall. He's talking about a great way to start this game for setting the tone very early. Yeah, sometimes it takes an offense a couple of drives to get comfortable. You could tell this unit came onto the field locked in and focused. No slow start at all for these guys. Inside the 10. Makes it with a 16. That's good coverage there. So Michigan's offense gets their first crack now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? There's the handoff. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Oh, 
from the shotgun. It's a handoff. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. And he'll set up to throw. Oh, and the sack was made there by the freshman. When they bring the excellent outside linebacker off the edge, Kirk, for the sack that time. Yeah, he's got great length and great speed. And a blitz like this, you just overwhelm the offensive line. They bring one more than they can handle up front. You can't account for everybody. The quarterback, all he could do is eat it. The Wolverines will send the punt team onto the field. But he's got some space here. Down by the coverage team. So Marshall's offense takes the field again. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Tackle, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. Offense will set up on first and 10. Ball handed off. Gets some space around the 30. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Handoff here from the shotgun. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight. The defense coordinator this week already telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Caught over the middle. It's Anderson. They bring him down at the five. Solid game, though, in the completion. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense, especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But a fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. Second down and goal upcoming. Pre snap motion from the receiver. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And we're able to get him down. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. Pass caught, can he get in? And he's down at the three-yard line. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. Long enough and good. And that will extend it. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And now the handoff. Running with purpose. And he's pushed out of bounds after a short run. Not enough for a first. Second down after that run in the previous play. Handoff running right. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket trying to create. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. And the Wolverines getting set on first and ten. And there's the handoff. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. They'll switch it up looking to throw. He's escaping the pocket now. And he's taken down behind the line. He's going to lose a yard or two. Well, that's their second sack already in this game right now. And, and this offensive coordinator, he's going to have to come up with some changes in pass pro. Keep a tight end in, roll the quarterback out, anything they can do to help him out. Otherwise, this poor guy is going to spend his entire playoff experience on his back. The offense will look to regroup here at second and 11. Here comes the reverse. And he's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. 
and he dumps it off to the tight end. This offense picks up the first down. They tackle up at the 44. A new set of downs after that completion. And looking to throw now on first down. Makes the grab. It's Bell. Defense surrounds him. This is short gain on that completion. That completion makes it second in medium. Takes the ball and heads to the left. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Looking for a deep completion. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. That kind of execution, the long drive, that's why this team made it to the college football playoff. That's exactly right. Being able to mix in the run with the pass, picking up first downs, and eventually coming up with the touchdown. That is a tough thing to do. They made it look easy. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17 strong. At the 17. Here comes Marshall's offense back out onto the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. They've got him, but not before he makes a first down at the 41. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Makes the catch at the 10-yard line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Curry. We see more and more of this in college football. You have to get the right guy in that slot. They can win the one-on-one -on -one matchups. You take some chances. Here they got the matchup that they wanted and hit it for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. After the extra point, the lead is now 17-7. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? The sure hands. It's Bell. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. The defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. It's a ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And the tailback's got it again. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Makes a quick catch. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Marshall has the lead here, Kirk, and the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Going to throw for it on third and short. Caught in the flat by the running back. And he's tackled just short of that first down marker. Good job by the defense. The Wolverines will have to kick it away when he comes for his second punt of the game. And the returner is tackled by this one. At the 
So Marshall's offense takes the field again. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers and make the play. Getting set. Here's second down. Caught quickly. Finds room at the 30. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. Boy, another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show how dangerous he is when he has time to throw. The defensive coordinator's got to change up his looks, maybe bring in the blitz, anything they can do to get this quarterback out of this rhythm. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make a... exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Because I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. Wait, what's the offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. One of those critical third down plays coming up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Can they pick up the first on the ground? Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. How about that, Chris? Third down and two. They get just enough. I thought they might bring the sticks out to measure. It was so close. But they're going to give him the first down. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. He's got it near the end zone. And he will score! Touchdown, thundering her. Yeah, we're seeing more and more of this in college football. Guys in that slot, they got the ability to get downfield vertically. It's a mismatch if you have the right guy. This time they get the matchup that they want, hit it for a big one. Now the all-important extra point. Extra point makes it a 17 point game. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. The game makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back. And missed his receiver. It's incomplete. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. And the Wolverines will have to punt this one away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. The coverage team. This return. As here comes the first play of the drive. They'll begin at the 42. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. In the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. 
Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Pre snap motion from the offense. A handoff from the shotgun. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with him. And he's tackled after the catch. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. Looking to pass, it's Smith. Running back grabs it on a screen. That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. Yeah, I know it's only the first half, but let's face it, Chris. You've come this far. This is a playoff game. When you get inside a 10-yard line, you can't settle for field goals. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Marshall. Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. But let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. They'll return it from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. And the timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Game moves the ball to the 38, another first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. On first and ten, looking to throw. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Finally brought down, but this is a big play. Moves the ball down to the 21. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. He'll try a pass here. Finds his man. It's Bell. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final at the half. The tight end goes in motion before the snap. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. The pocket breaking down. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You've got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. So it's third down, but out comes the field goal unit. They'll try to add three points before halftime. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate who'll be moving on to the next round.
offense back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right here. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. On third down, he drops to throw. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. The Wolverines will line up to kick it away. That's his fourth punt already today. And the return man decides to signal fair. Here's the first play of the drive. Now they're set up at their 40. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Here comes the handoff. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what. They have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing that he's potentially capable of doing it. Now it's second down here. Back to pass. It's Smith. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Grab down the middle. It's McCoy. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. This is the sixth play on the drive. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Inside the 25. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. You set it down to the offense. First and 10. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in this playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving his running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Catch made over the middle. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. The offense knocking on the door with a first and goal. Touchdown, Hurd. And this one is getting ugly. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Second down play coming up. And the wideout goes in motion. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he finds the running back in the flat. 
Made the catch, but he was surrounded. Good. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. Returner decides to fair catch this. First down here for this offense. We'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The soccer with a strong tackle there. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. Marshall has the lead here, Kirk. This has been thorough domination three three quarters. A real statement confirming their status as a national championship contender. Let's check out the stats so far. So let's get back to the action. One quarter away, what would be an impressive CFP statement. Quarter is a crucial one. Offense trying to convert this third down. Dropping back. It's Smith. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Pass hauled in inside the 15. Touchdown. Undering her. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine. A playoff game. He has gone out and backed that up so far. Yeah, he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. Just a great job of getting into a rhythm. Really tough to defend. Right now, the defensive coordinator, you can see him down there. He's throwing his headset. He's frustrated. He's got to come up with some new wrinkles. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. And here's the return from inside the five. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Here's a wide open receiver, complete. And moves the ball to the 37 for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. On the junior, gets home, making a sack there. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Looking to pass here on second down. And he's got it. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. First down, looking to throw the ball. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. Tackle made after a big game. And the Lord Reigns will line up on first and ten. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Catch made on the out route. What a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. The defense now backed up in their own red zone. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Showed off the stiff arm, but nowhere to go. He's held to a short game. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. Movement here from the tight end. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. The pass is caught. And he's brought down just short of the mark on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. No, he didn't get there. Tackled short. That is a crushing play as they try to cut in to this lead. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Finding some room with the 25. Good enough for the first down, the 37. 
outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that. here from the shotgun. They get him down, but a solid run by their freshman. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. And right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Hey, it's a great job of running the football. It's the right idea, but the back's got to stay in bounds. Because remember, with the new rule in college football, the clock still stops momentarily until the referee sets the play clock for the next play, and then it'll start again. So stay in bounds, work that clock. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. He's got some room. Can he get there? Touchdown, Marshall. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. So they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it just outside the goal line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. This has been a long afternoon for this offense. All that's left, got to get some consolation points here. Quick completion to the tight end. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. There's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Clock over the middle. It's Hanson. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Pass caught and a second down now. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. This defense has been lights out today. Great job once again applying pressure on this quarterback. This poor quarterback, he doesn't know what he has seen today. Not able to get anything going to be able to try to compete in this game. They are down big, and now they're just hoping for that clock to run out. Defense looking for back-to-back -back sacks. Third down now. Let's see fly out of the wideout. He pulls it in for a big game. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. The Wolverines will line up to boot it away. And off the bounce, that pump will roll. Here comes Marshall's offense back out onto the field. This has been a tremendous performance by this team. Now just the finishing touch. Run out the clock and let the party begin. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. And here's the handoff. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today, running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. And a short run there to end the game. 
Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.